Salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Victoria 2, in which we're playing as a two-color empire. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, and we are having a great time right now. This isn't where we left off, but we basically, I basically played off the screen just a little bit to push things a little bit ahead, and now we have what? Actually, we've got a lot of comments to go through, but we can go to war with Futa Jalon by October 5th, 1856, as well as go to war with the Ashanti and by January 15th, 1857. So... We can go to war. So let's see. Let's look at our budget. Oh, we've already maxed it out. Oh, good job, Mr. Mocha Lover. Uh, like I said, though, we've got a lot of comms to go through. But let's speed the time up a little bit and prepare an invasion, shall we? First comment. Uh, some don't want me to extend slavery. They constantly tell me to not... Well, not constantly, of course. But don't extend slavery. That will hurt your economy in the long run. I, I totally understand. I know it's not a very good thing to do. But we do get a lot of consciousness if we don't. Which, at this point, you know what, we might as well not do that. We might as well just raise consciousness as much as possible, have some rebels, and kill them off. Because we haven't had any rebels yet so far. So, you know what, maybe we'll try it. Let's, we're going to make us look like the USA, or the slavery debate, and <laughs> try to kill each other off. Uh, we'll try We'll see what happens, I don't know. And, like, uh, other comments. Let's see. Yeah, but, however, if we do continue to extend slavery, and we have slavery when we're um, civilized, then... That's good for getting more reforms once you are civilized. So that's not too bad. We could use it to our advantage. So we'll see what happens. I don't know. I, to me, I don't really care. If we get hurt later on, so be it. Eventually, if we can like get rid of slavery, that's fine. And actually, I've said slavery so many times in the first two minutes. I wonder if YouTube's going to do anything to this video. Probably not, since it doesn't matter. Who cares? Uh, let's see. Uh, I mean, I promise I will get rid of slavery eventually. I mean, regardless if it's Victoria 2, Old World Blues, doesn't matter to me. Let's go ahead and go to war, because I've wasted enough time talking about... <laughs> Slaves. Uh, let's go to war with these guys. I don't know. Who, who are they allied to? Futa Tor? Ah, oh, they're right there. It doesn't matter. Cool. Let's go on in. You go to Timbo. Y'all come to Dingurai. And in Kong Kong. That should be enough to take these guys out. So, uh, Other comments as well as we're doing this. Befriend Prussia and Germany. Or uh, the North German Federation. Or Confederation. I think it's a federation. Uh, well, my goal was to continue improving relations with the UK. They're done now. And sure, why not? Because Germany is actually usually a pretty strong power. They're only fourth in the world right now. But once they unify with the southern Germans, they'll probably be pretty darn strong. France is third in the world. Russia is probably number one. The UK is number two. And the Qing Empire is, well, only 27, huh? Okay. And we're making more ships, too. So, Which is actually extremely important. Extremely important, actually. Which I'll get to in a little bit. Let's see. Focus on universities. Yeah, because apparently, as someone stated, that gives you three times the research points for all that stuff. So, getting three times the research points, like, for normal research points, is really, really good. Ooh, before we go too far, let's see. Where do we have our national spirit? Oh, I put them up here. Not so bad. 81.1. Oh, that's not bad over here, too. You guys. Ooh, let's see. You guys are down there. This is Gabu. We can't get up to there, so I'm going to have you guys come down here and then go back home. And by home, I mean our capital. Cool, very cool, very cool. Oh, we have a, discovered a bayonet charge. We get more attack. It costs a little bit more supply, but that's okay. Cool, plays Japan. That was another comment from the last video. So we'll see what happens. I just kill them all off. <laughs> nice, nice. I love it. Oh, actually, you guys, you guys can actually come down here. Come to see you, because we'll go to war with Ashanti as well. Ooh, yes, please. And we'll take them out. Have a good time with them. Are they allied anyone? Hopefully not. But yeah, I've already played Japan once. I think it was in actually vanilla, like with the two DLCs. So whenever I say vanilla, I just automatically think I automatically think that I already have the DLC is installed. So if I ever say vanilla from this point forward, just assume that it's just base game with the two DLCs. So yeah, maybe I'll play Japan again sometime. Maybe an HPM or HFM, which was another comment. I should check out HFM, and I totally will. I have tried it before. It's not easy, and actually makes my game lag pretty hard. Ooh, we lose consciousness. We could get some more reforms, but I don't want to piss people off too much. This is going to hurt us later on. I know it will. I know it will, but it is what it is. I mean, we kind of have to do it, all right? Let's see. We have no cores on these people. Western Mondo. Mondo. Fulba. Fulba is good, because we have, we have... That's an accepted culture here. Mondo. There's a lot of Mondo people here. Ah, oh, more good. Uh, let's take a look. What's that? We got a lot of accepted cultures. That's awesome. Hauza, Beoden, Fulba is our main culture, of course. The Ottoman Empire is still holding on by thread. And I'm going to leave you guys here. I think having one, two, three, four armies around here is probably good enough. Give about one more month because we get our peace. Hopefully, lower our infamy just a wee bit. Very good.
Might as well, right? Thank you very much, Ashanti. We love your business. And we're still using a regulars, but I'm gonna... I've been slowly eliminating them from our armies because these guys are all infantry. Beautiful. We're still building some ships up. Actually, what are we still building here? Yeah, let's see. Clippers. Take off two. There you go. Spread spread the love. Almost 5% of our population can read, which is not bad. You guys are moving in. These guys will die soon enough. Awesome. And we got a lot of money for now. For now. Other comments. The Southeast Islands, to our nation here, are probably owned by Portugal. Yes, they are. There's Port That's a lot of slaves. Wow. 76% of the workforce there are slaves. You think we're bad? Look at the Portuguese. Look at them. Even the Spanish still have slavery down there. Oh, that is Mocha. Oh, no, not Mocha. That's alright, whatever. We all have had our past things. Let's do that. We gotta get more ships. But yeah, these are the Iberian nations down here. And is this Sao Toma? It is. Oh, Tiano taught me something. Geography a little bit. Love it. Hey, thank you very much. I know people don't want me to do that, but that's alright. Actually, how many research points we got? Eh, not too bad. Not, not great. So, now we have no more justifications. We're looking great in West Africa. I'm loving this. This looks awesome. We're 10th in the world in military score, and 3rd in the world for prestige? We don't even write, like, get, what was it, prestige points or poem points, as some people call them. That's so good. Alright, so here, actually, I'm not going to use you. Oh, hmm. Do we have a place that doesn't have a lot of, oh, you are a regulars as well. You know what? I'm going to do this. We're going to start converting our soldiers over. So, where do we put our rally points? Ooh, where did I put it? Recruitment. There it is. It, that's what I thought. Cool. And we need five things of infantry. Wow, get up to 85 divisions. Wow! Ah, uh, yes. And now, now, the reason why I wanted to make at least 10 ships is because I was reading or trying to find through some old forms that to justify on other people, because right now we can't like go overseas and conquer other people. To do so, you might need to have 10 ships, a naval base, 10 military score at least, and a population of a base population of at least a quarter million. Now that might be outdated information, but I forget when I installed HPM, but it might just... Hey, it did work! So, that's awesome. So if you don't know, that's what I just said, allows you to go conquer other people across, you know, the ocean or like whatever. So, you need a naval base, you gotta have 10 ships, 10 military score, and a base population of at least a quarter million. I think we've got at least a quarter million, right? We've got 34 million. But let's go and do this. We're probably going to get found out. But if it happens, whatever. I mean, at this point, they have 8 military score, which is not bad. But if we can land and defend well enough, I'm not too worried about it as long as we don't attack into the enemy's armies. They're allied with Paraguay. And they have no military score. They also have 8. Ooh, ooh. Hmm. This is going to be kind of testy. I don't know. Because, I mean, our military score is also so divided between the army and navy, of course, like normal. But at the same time, hmm, we'll see how strong they can be. And obviously, it's not an ideal army composition. I mean, we could really use some cannons. No, not cannons. We need to use some. Oh, it's so fast to justify. I love it. Uh, just. Cannons, artillery, duh. Mr. Mokalover, what are you thinking? I am not thinking right now. This is. I'm excited. I'll be honest, like, playing Victoria 2. I just really enjoy it. I don't know why. It just it's so it's so old at this point in the time I'm recording this, but it doesn't mean it's bad. Just because it's old it doesn't mean it's Morocco. <clears throat> Morocco. Hello there. Maghrebi Berber. I would love to get down to the, the Ottomans because they have so much Beodin culture, and that is an accepted culture here, so Oh what the heck you have Circassian. Oh, that's kinda cool. Oh, I want to get over here. Nuba, Luo, Sudanese. Sorry, guys. Actually, I totally forgot about you guys, so we'll see about what happens. And also, if we get found out, obviously, I'll do fade and fade out, but whatever. I I'm really enjoying this campaign, I'll be honest. I hope you guys are, are as well. Obviously, if you're watching and you're staying, sticking around, you probably enjoy it so far. So, well, thank you for watching. I haven't cut the budget yet just because I want to get on the ships as fast as possible and just go, 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 go. And we're making another army there. You guys are regulars. Where's my next thing of regular infantry? They probably have cannons where they're at. Ooh, this is another army we got to cut down, too. Uh, how's this coming along? It's coming along. That's not bad. We're making more clipper transports. That's good. Making another man of war, which is also very good, so. And if you heard something crash, hey, we didn't get just found out. Awesome. And that was my pen falling to the floor. So we need to go to war by April 18th, 1858. So we got to really make sure that we're ready to go to war. 
I could make two navies, but nah, I think we'll be okay. What is this? Yes. 1858, April 18th. So let's say by January, just to keep a good good number. Beginning of the year. By the beginning of the year, we need to go to war. And this is the case. We're maxed out already on spending. It will mean our guys need a little bit more time to get a little bit more morale first. And actually, before we do that, ooh, these guys are allied with Wolof and Gabu. Oh wait, wait. Oh, we can restore order. Oh, hello. Sweet. We'll send both of you guys. Help strong. Actually, three armies then. Oh, that's right. We do get that one. Ah, oh, that's nice. Uh, let's see. 40, 30, 30, 30. You can see right there. Cool. I'm not going to lower my army conscription level. And we almost have another good army loaded up, ready to go. Once we get at least one more going, one more infantry division made, uh, then we'll probably set sail. Hmm. If it's three quarters of the way there, then we'll set sail. This is going to be dangerous. I don't know if we're going to actually be able to be successful with this. I don't know if the Uruguayans have a mighty navy. I kind of doubt it, but hey, we're going to try. Clever transport. Oh, what is going on? What do you cannot? What can you not do? Ooh. What do they need for daily supplies? Weight one. You need extra money. Attrition. Lack of maintenance goods. What goods do they need to maintain a navy? Let's take a look. Artillery, canned goods, clothes, and what is this one? Estimated cost of goods not in stockpile. Well, let's go with this then. This is in high demand. We're going to put our max stockpile to a little bit higher. Let's grab some of our clothes as well. Clothes. We don't need clothes. Where we're going? We don't need clothes. We don't need that many clothes, obviously. Clothes. We got the ships. We need artillery at least a little bit more. Oh my goodness, we definitely need more artillery. And this is going to hurt the budget a little bit, but whatever. Obviously, since we're not even civilized, uh, we're not high priority in terms of getting goods. And the last one, what was the last one we needed? I forget. Artillery. Oh, can goods, that's right. Can goods. Can good Renos. Where are you? Yeah, there you are. Why, are, why is West Africa buying all the canned goods in the world, or all the ships? Cool, give us... Oh, I'm gonna go ahead. Let's go, boys! Oh my goodness, I, like I said before, like at the beginning of this campaign, I was watching ISP's video, and he did the same thing. It's just easy to take out Uruguay. It just... If you can, why not, you know? Why not? I'm gonna have you guys kill them off immediately. Hopefully we can do well. I'm hoping we can do well. Please let us do well. Ooh. I'm going to move the third army over here just to get... Oh, look at that. Imported artillery. Oh, we could use that so badly. That would actually really help. Army schools. That's not something experience. We could do this, but as someone said, it's probably best to wait. Post-Napoleonic thought. I forget, what does that one do? That gives you digging cap. Actually, the digging cap is not bad. And allows you to probably build forts, maybe? Oh, no, maybe not. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, it does allow the forts, so. But if someone did recommend, get foreign universities. We're nowhere near getting that score, but we'll see what we can do. We'll do the best we possibly can. There they go. Both of you come to Nawari. Oh, man. Killed some of them off. Very nice. Oh, and... So we, we are at war with who else? Wolof? Oh, they're right there. We can't even touch them. You guys, though. Trarza, because we'll annex these guys. Maybe Trarza. Can we make a little sneaky sneaky? And if we get found out, then obviously I'll do fade in, fade out. But we'll see what happens, and... Good, it's first of the month, so that's a good auto-saving point. Hmm, coffee's pretty good, too. Alrighty, tidy. How's the world looking? It's looking pretty nice for us. I don't really feel like killing off the enemies too much, honestly. It, it doesn't matter to me. Ooh. Well, you're next. Baida, I'm just going to go ahead and slap you down a little bit. That might not be good, but whatever. So we have 5,000. So we need five things of infantry. At least, and of course, once we get cal oh, cavalry. Once we get infantry, or infantry. Mr. Milk Lover, calm down. Think. Once we get artillery, i got to reform the army some more. And I'll see you in just a little bit. Alright, everyone. So, actually, the justification isn't done yet for this. But I wanted to show you this. So, I've we got over here, okay? We've got our army over here. When I landed, I literally landed on top of them in their capital. They had only 
uh, what was it? Two brigades, two divisions. But now they have three, actually four if you see they have 90, 90, 30 in terms of strength. I'm actually going to send our guys back to pick up another army just in case. And hopefully we don't get found out still. Hopefully not. And we're still doing pretty well over here. So, look at that. We, oh, 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 they got more, more soldiers. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, we still beat them up. Look at that. Follow them. Kill them off. Kill them. Kill, 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 kill. Awesome, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh boy. Oh boy, don't lose. Don't lose too many guys. Come on. You can't be losing. Look at the morale. Look at the morale. Come on. Oh, we barely won. Ooh, if I follow them, we might not do well here. Oh, let's see. Annex them? Yes, please. Great. Come on, let's do well. Oh, we got found out. Okay, point six. I'm okay with point six. I'm okay with that. We've doubled their forces. Oh, we can go to war immediately with Traza. 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 Cool. How's this looking over here? Not bad. Our ships aren't back yet. They're probably still starving. What is our score like? Not bad, everyone. Not bad. Oh, man. I would love to get that. I would love to get Navy School so we get even more research points when conquering. Oh, uh, that is... You get 10% more civilization progress. That's basically 11,000. That would cost quite a bit. If we do this one, though, you get 25% more civilization progress. Get more efficiency, though. And I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait to do that because that would just help us out. After we get university reforms or foreign universities, we need something else that will be 25% because we're already halfway. At least 25, maybe 30%. This one will give us 15. Official currency is 15. Improved? That's 15. There's a lot of 15 ones. Guild base production. Huh. For technology. That's kind of cool. 15. There's a lot of 15 ones. That one's not bad. That's 15. There, there is a, almost all these are 15. Wow. 15. This one is 20. Costs quite a bit. And then we have industrial construction. And that is 25% as well. Not bad. Not bad at all, everyone. Ooh, they're allied with Wolof and Gabu. So actually, Gabu is right there. Wolof. Can I, can, I, can I go to war now? No, maybe we don't have enough. We don't have enough diplo points, probably. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, there we go. Alright. Let's move on in. We'll probably beat them up until they say no to us anymore, so. Why don't you go to. Nuwak Chot. Chot. Please don't lose, please don't lose. Come on. Ah, we got him. Good. Just keep following him. This is probably really bad for our soldiers, but whatever. Oh, man. The guys on the boat take forever to get over there. Come on, come on. Wow, we don't have a lot of infantry. We got a lot of cavalry. Hey, we lost more soldiers, though. You know what? I think I'm just going to stay here at the capital. That might be good. I don't know. I want to wait till we get reinforcements, though. Because it's not looking great for us. Oh, yeah. We're going to just stay in the capital, then. Oh, yeah. We got to get more soldiers over here. All right. Get on the boat, everyone. Get on the boat. That'll be okay for now. We're suffering a little bit of attrition. So be it. Whatever. Looking not too bad. Move on over as well. You're looking good. You're looking good, guys. Great. Gabu. Uh, negotiate for half our alliance. I'm nearly That's fine. Go, come over here. You'll be fine. Bamboo. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Who? Thrarza, of course. And Wolof. Which we can't actually touch. So, whatever. This is this is getting dangerous. I'm. This is a dangerous game we're playing here. Ooh, 14,000. That's so good. So good. And yes, we are liber... We... we Conquer in the name of Jihadi Liberty. That is our goal. Hey, they made another division, but they died. Oh, our ships are almost over there. Great. How are we looking over here? Not too bad. Uh, I could send you down here since you actually don't have full army stack, huh? And over here, we're still making good enough money. So actually, instead of doing what we're normally doing, I'm going to go with eight infantry and then two. So that's still 30 or 30,000 really. But that way we can split them much more easily when we have enough soldiers and we have artillery, so. Very good. Oh, and don't want to forget this too. Come over here. Messina, you're not done yet. Okay. Just got to keep an eye on that. Come on. Colonia. Oh, yes, yes. Come over there and we'll just come to Paisando. Pasando. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Yes, 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 yes. How many ships do they have? Because our ships aren't looking great. 
They have one, probably a man of war, and then two transports. Oh man, we're losing a lot of guys. Oh, we've lost so many guys. Oh man, it's not good. Then again, what do you expect? We got him! We got him! Oh, Uruguay's dead. Uruguay's dead. Oh boy, oh boy, war of the UK. That's not good. Um. Wait, why are we going to war with the UK? Do they, do they have Uruguay in the sphere? What, what do they want? Status quo. All we ask is to be left alone? Negotiating for their entire half of the alliance? Uh, that, why? Why? We haven't been in war for that long, have we? Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to pull a little cheatsy here. Just because, I mean, there's nothing we can do about that, can we? I mean, they're trying to invade us, so I don't think that's cool and all. I don't want to pull a little cheatsy, but I want Uruguay. I want Uruguay. We've got to get Uruguay. So, well, I'll probably just force peace out with them later on. We'll see what happens. Just because, that's not cool. Like, wh why? Why? Like, for what reason? Do they want to go to war with us? Status quo? We're an uncivilized nation. Because this is taking forever. Oh my goodness. Come on. Come on. The Europeans are getting scared. They don't really want us to do that well, I see. Oh, well, Ger hold on. That's Germany up there. They actually took Alsace Lorraine, but they don't have Bavaria? What the heck is this? Oh, here goes these guys. Yeah, that's good. Extend slavery. That's fine for now. Conduct a real investigation. Hey, more plurality. Not bad. All right. Let's see if we can teach these Europeans a thing or two. How many research points we got? Almost 20,000. Budget isn't looking super great right now, but... Oh, we found the ships. What do they have? Well, that thing got blown up. Destroyed by a clipper transport. Interesting. Come on to the port over here, then. Because I don't want to get killed by the Navy. We lost the occupation of this place. Well, what do you expect? I mean, it's a, it's a British Empire, what do you expect? Uh, we're probably going to need everyone here because we probably can't do too much against these guys. We'll see what happens, though. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing we can do against that. I mean, it's just taking forever to conquer these guys down. There we go. Not too bad. Get mellow and we'll be okay. I mean, they could keep conquering us and conquering us and conquering us, but for what purpose would that do? Do them. Good. Come on out. No. Oh, wow, we lost a lot of guys. I mean, this is so dumb. I mean, we killed off their ships, which is nice. Alright, can we please just propose peace? You know, both of you do this so we can end this a little bit faster. I don't want to get involved with them, but we'll see what happens. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. They just slaughter us. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe just don't go over there. Losing population. Can you retreat? Nope, you're all gonna die. Serious? Eh, you didn't all die yet. Not yet. Hey, there they go. Ah, <laughs> uh, sure, why not? Now, what do you want? Yeah, no. So I'm gonna. I'm sorry. I gotta wipe these guys out because there's no. There's no point for them to do this. There's literally no point. So I will be right back. All right, everyone. So we're back, but I did not use consequences. Now, right now, as you can see up top, we are still at war with Uruguay. And actually, I replayed the war a little bit against Uruguay because now the UK has not intervened. Uh, we are justifying right now in Luongo because we can. Hopefully, we don't get caught. But we've won the war. But I'm just kind of waiting to see what happens with the justification and such. But regardless, here's the UK. They are currently... What are they doing? Are they at war with anyone? Uh, oh, the, the Danish Danish stand defiant. Um, okay. And Germany has existed... Or... I don't know. Uh, Germany? It's... I don't know. It's just... This is a weird world. And America's still... Hello? Do you have rebels? Jacobin rebels. Um, well, that's not good for you, America. Especially if they take over province. But we have Germany, of course, before 1860. Because why not? And at this point... Let's go ahead and just do peace with Uruguay. Wasn't too bad. I threw it in... They actually mobilized. Wow. Oh, they have... Ooh. They have rebels, too. Cool. Let's go and peace them out. 
But yeah, I re basically replayed the war against Uruguay, and the UK never got involved. So uh, let's let's go ahead and peace out before they get involved. How about that? Cool. And of course, why not extend slavery? Because, well, mostly because we want to get all that reform progress. And now we have 24,000 thingamabobs. Nice. Almost 2% of our population are intellectuals. And it's uh, someone recommended. We're going to grab this immediately. We get five more plurality. And we get an enlightenment philosophy, which means we get 50% more research points, which is great. And we're 75% of the way there towards westernizing. Awesome. 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 And like I said, we're try ju trying to justify on Luango. <laughs> of all places. I've actually set the the army point, rally point to here as well. What are you guys doing? Why are you right there? What the heck? Ooh, go and do that. That's fine. Are we making another army? Yes, we are. That's good. Actually, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is the way we're going to do it from now on. So we have eight, no artillery, and then two cavalry. Just because I think that would fit out a little better for us. Um, whenever we get artillery, we can split those in half and then just put on a bunch more artillery, which would be very, very good. Ooh, naval base. Ooh, Rosso has less population, so you do it here then. Oh, actually, this would have been better because they actually have less stuff down there. Hopefully, we don't get found out. Please don't get found out. Please, 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 for the love of God. No one, please go to war with me over Uruguay. This is normal. West Africa rightfully should own <laughs> Uruguay. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Let's go and merge these armies together. And actually, I'm going to cut down these guys as well. 5,000. Uh, there you go. Why'd I do that? Because I'm going to cut you guys down as well. And we can use Uruguayan soldiers, right? Do that too. And we need, we got two, four more soldiers here. You know what? You go five. And cut down one more. There you go. Makes us a little bit smaller, but whatever. Come on, don't get found out. Don't get found out. Come on. Take out Luongo because we can, because why not? We love Luongo. Luongo is menace. Oh, such a menace. Such a menace. Actually, if that's the case. Don't come down here. Ooh. Well, it wouldn't be bad to use them. We need an army to use these guys, though. Ooh. You're not looking too great, either. Man, a lot of our... Hmm. Oh, you guys are still coming down there. That's fine. Uh, God dang, I'll use you guys. Since you're the only infantry we have. Hey, there we go. Nice. We didn't get found out. I think. Hopefully not. Seventh in the world for prestige. Nice. Very nice. And you know what? I'm really glad I actually re I replayed the war. Because without the UK getting interve intervening, I think it was because they are actually at war with someone else. Oh, they're at war now with Malta. So, as much as I was complaining before off screen, this ain't too bad for us. You guys. Well, maybe take you guys on the boat first. It's almost 1860. Hopefully, we can westernize before 1870 because that'd be a really great goal. Oh, uh, yeah. So sometimes, if things don't go r well for you, maybe just consider... Ooh. 9,000, huh? This might not be enough, guys. Ooh, I, I, if I lose an army, it's it's alright. You know, whatever. Especially if it's not that... Especially if I have the regulars. You guys come down here. Come to Bonnie. That's a lot of uh, space you got there, Bonnie. Oh, okay. Oh, we're doing pretty darn well. I like it. I like it a lot. Thank you very much. Uh, you know what? You guys are going to go straight into the interior because I'm sending you guys back up north and sending another army down to support these guys as well. And we're doing... We're 97th in the world in terms of industry. That's something, right? Just go straight into the middle of the jungle. Don't ask questions. Just just go there and see you down. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is a weird campaign. This is very weird. That's alright. I should play as the UK someday, but we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. Oof. Oh, and we're doing that as well. Oh, do we get... Hello. More ships? Yes, no? I don't know. And we got to double check and make sure that we're doing okay up here. Oh, we're almost done with there. That's good. And get to 100%. Hey, Nakuna. Kuna. Nice, 100%. And since we have cores are here, we're going to go and do this as well. I love bureaucrats, except when they do bureaucrat stuff that I don't like. Ooh. Yeah, at this point, you might as well. I might just delete this army. we got to reform some of these armies because th there's just so much attrition here. That we might not want to bring them back home. Because then again, we are West Africa. We're not civilized yet, so. 6.5%, not bad. Not bad at all. We need to keep conquering, though. Alright, so with this, we gotta talk about this, too. Because a lot of these for the economic reforms are literally just 15% for civilization progress. 15%, 15%, and 15%. Let's see, this is 15%, and then 35%, which is quite a bit. But you don't get any technology with that one. 
Official currencies is 15, and then on top of that, 25%, no standard. The roads gets you experimental roadways, 15%. This is 15%. This is 20, 20%. And then this is 25%. So there's a lot of 25, 15%. Nothing really for 20, well, I guess technically this one's 25%. But that's 22,000. That actually might be worth doing. Or we could go 10% and then 15. So that score was like 10.6. 10.6 plus like that is like 21,000. So that's basically the same cost. So you could do this one. You get piston steam engine. So we really just want to figure out what we need. I might go with Navy schools actually for the next one. So this way we can get even more research points when conquering. And then do something like... Oh, actually, that's, that is... 10%, so that means we would need another 15. 10% plus 15. Uh, how much does this one cost? I mean, you, you might as well do something like that, or administrative reform, or education, because I like the plurality. Nah, eh, that's not really worth it. Anything else for technology? Because that's that's 12,000. That's a little bit more expensive. 15%. Local production, 15% as well. That's 13,000, basically. But you get technology, and that's what I'm really looking for here. But, uh, hmm, 10 plus 15, that's 10%. These are all 10%, which I don't like. 10 plus 10 plus 15. Yeah, I mean, it, it would save you more points if you actually did this one. But I think I'll go with the Navy schools and then something like local production. It's a little bit more expensive, but you do get more technology that you don't have to research later, which is very, very important. Go ahead and get, uh, what, we can reform the armies. Cool, and you guys looking not too bad. Do we have another infantry coming along? Not yet, and here we go. Nice. Let's see, can we just find anyone else now? Oh, hello. <gasps> Jihad. Jihad, you know what? Let's finish off this war first, and then we'll justify it. That makes it a little just easier for us. I love Jihad. And... Bingo was his name-o. Cool, let's go and start justifying on Gabu. Gabu, 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 gabu. And we can't conquer them, so we might as well do it like this, right? And... There you go. That's what we were waiting for. Beautiful. I love slavery. Alright, cut you guys down like that. Come over here. We got a lot of infantry. Actually, that's not bad. Four and one. Hey, naval port. Don't mind if we do. One. Two. There you go. Not bad. Not too shabby. We're literally on two continents. It's awesome. Ooh, actually, can you do another one? No, it's only one. That's fine. Uh, come back home. You never know if we might need you somewhere else. 6.5% of our population can read. Cool. And set these guys as a rally point as well. Thank goodness we did not go to war with... Or, actually, yeah, I didn't go to war with at all with the UK, so... Sometimes you just gotta reload what you're doing. And it looks like Chile is at war with someone else. Now, I'd love to go to war with Argentina, but I think I want to go to become civilized first. Oh, no. They're, they have a lot of rebels. Because these guys have nine... Actually, nine military scores isn't bad, but I want cannons. Oh, we gotta get cannons and stuff like that. Foreign trading posts? Despite the obvious rightness of our country's trade policies, greater amounts of foreign goods could be useful. And elements within our administration have suggested setting up a limited trading post in one of our coastal cities, where foreign ships can moor and trade without compromising the cultural integrity of the Tukalor Empire. It could be an economic boon to the area and the nation, but conservative voices warn that destructive foreign influences might further creep into our territory. That's not bad. And we got a lot of militancy, 9.53. But keep it small, keep it simple, keep it under control. Ah, yeah. Now, how, is this, how long is this going? Ooh, we're so close. There's no point to really lower military spending then for now then. Ooh boy. Rosso. Come to Rosso. I love Africa. Can you make an, an actually okay-ish army? That's awesome. Oh, we got we weren't even discovered. I love it. Wasn't even discovered. You we were allied with Chile. I do want to beat these guys up. They are alone though, but our army's just not good enough to handle them. Oh, mm. I can make this look really, really bad. Against Bolivia, we would do pretty well, probably. Bolivian Antofagasta? Oh, my goodness. It's not really worth getting. They don't have really good RGOs here at all. Oh, they're already fighting in Peru against Ecuador. 11. Ooh. How's Mexico doing? They're in a sphere in America. How's America doing? It is 59, so we'll probably see them fight in the Civil War soon enough. I still can't get over Germany form before 1860. I mean, I mean, how? I mean, they even have Alsace Lorraine. Uh, I want to increase relations, but I need to save my stuff up. Not even Italy formed. Of course, neither is Romania, but Jesus Christ, guys. 
What the heck? <laughs> you might as well go to war with China now, right? They're uncivilized still. Uh, let's see. Let's get you guys moving. Form tri Did we not just have this? Oh, okay. Why not? Why not? Oh, German then for a second. America's fourth, huh? And two Sicilies is in seventh place. Not bad. Not bad. Junkers. Wait. Oh, that's sad. You still really like us. You want an alliance? No. Um, gotta want a Western so badly. We get, gotta keep conquering, though. Just keep conquering. Let's go. Oh, that's not the right group. Whoopsie. Oh, Gabu's down there. Why did I move the guy up there, then? Ah, I love Jihad. Oh, which one? Gambia, Guinea, Bissau, or Guinea? Oh, crud. Which one is this? So you got this one, that one, or that one. So we can't probably get Guinea. You know, it might be good to get Balfa. Just because you get another port. And ports are nice. But I'm going to go with Gambia, just so we can get to Wolof as well. So, Gabu. Which one do we want? I think it was Gambia, right? Yeah. It doesn't matter. I don't really care. As long as we get something, that's what matters to me. Go straight for the capital. I don't know why I put you up there. And Europeans harass. Round up the usual suspects. You just gonna have to. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Get out of the sphere. Get out of the sphere. No. Oh, yeah, who are the Portuguese still here, too? Oh, they're oh, the Republic of French. The, oh, the Spanish, I mean. Spanish. Uh, someone did ask in a previous episode if I'm going to take out Liberia. We'll see. I'm not sure yet. Probably not, but hey, if we get strong enough, maybe we will. Especially if it's a great war and we're civilized and stuff, then I would totally be open to that. Nice. <laughs> Got surprised we haven't had a rebellion yet, either. Nice. Very good. Sure. I love slavery. Alright then, Timbo. Well, we took you guys out. How about Futatoro? We have a truce with them until when? 61. That's not too much further. Wolof. We have a truce with them until 63. We are starting to run out of enemies to kill off here. Hey, Congo. How you doing? They're in the... Mm. Do we really try this? Should we try this? Should we justify against Argentina? Uh, I can't cause jihad against them? What is this? I can't make them my puppet? Ooh, the French War of Piedmontian Freedom. Ooh, look at that. Hmm. Or we go a different direction. Or we start going this direction. Who's over here? Oromori? Uh, let's look up, open up the culture map mode. Culture. There's a lot of different cultures around here. Let's see, so we got Somali. We don't have them as it. Oromo. Let's see, anything else here that could be really good for us? Tigre? Beodin? That's still Egyptian, though. Yeah, hmm. Ooh, is it kind of independent? I mean, that wouldn't give us too much here, but... Hmm. I mean, we could go to war with them. And we're Tukolor Empire, Tukolor, Tukolor. Trucial States, hello? Look at all these guys we have as accepted cultures. Hausa, Kwa, Bantoid, Beuden, Bambara, Song, Torek. Oh, wait, hold on. Morocco. Hello, Morocco. We could go to war with these guys as well. Uh, Northwest Bantu. I mean, that's not our culture at all. These guys probably don't have our culture as well. Kudik, however they pronounce that, Somali, Oromo. I'd love to core Djibouti, but whatever. Harar. Uh, if we go over there, that would What the heck is this? Be oh, mmm, Beoden, you say. But then again, I mean, the UK has already kind of taken them out already. Yeah, ya, Zaidi? Mashriki? Oh, mmm. They're allied with Najed. They have seven military score. Najed's over here with no military. Oh! Oh, man. Oh, this might be good to do. We actually get accepted. Co Cultures right there, and we get opium. Is that opium? That is opium. Oh my goodness! I've got to do it. I've got to go to war with these guys. Oh my goodness! This is just. Oh, we definitely need a bigger army. The holy cow! The Tukalor destiny. In the workshops and mills of our country, the free Tukalor people may make daily discoveries and advances. The advancement of science is intimately tied to a free exchange of ideas, and nowhere is exchange freer than in Tukalor Empire. Our l liberty makes us a powerhouse of technological process, or progress, hard work, and... Oh, we get prestige, too. We're already pretty prestigious. I love liberty. I love jihadi liberty. 
<laughs> oh my goodness, this is just... I, I don't know. I, I don't know what to say anymore. I do want to take out the Congo as well, but they're sphered by the Spanish, so... I'm kind of resistant to do that. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh the Oma Yes, they are a menace. Cool. Oh, that's quite a while. But we got... It's a little faster. That's not too bad, though. Hopefully we don't get found out. Please don't get found out. Please don't get found out. What a mess. I've made this such a mess. Jesus. Jeez Louise. And actually, what people do we have over here in Uruguay? Afro-Latino Akan. Where's Akan from? Oh, we have Irish here? Oh, man, wait. Can we assimilate people? We, oh, we have Qua. That's good, right? That's good. It's accept the culture. Oh, man, if we could assimilate people to become Sunni in the New World, that would, that'd be kind of wild. I'd love that. How much longer is it going to take? Oh, not much longer. That's good. Get down there so we have another army so we can send them to Oman. We should probably do okay against them. Uh, what's our current score? I mean, yeah, it's not great going to Oman to do this. What's our approaches? Uh, news reaches us that an expatriate community of foreigners from various European countries and great powers have formed into one of our cities. Doubtlessly, this is a direct effect on our government's policy of open ports and borders. This influx might be positive, as the government seems to believe. However, some voices have less kind things to say about the foreigners. They're welcome to stay. Send them home. Yeah, you want to stay? Yeah, go, go right ahead. So get this, we'll send these guys off, but I gotta make more armies that actually will do okay for us. Because we, we're, we're lacking some armies here. We definitely need to build up a better, better army. We only have 11 military score. Actually, 53 military score. We're 11th in the world. And Sweden has found socialism, actually. Okay, well, good luck. Alright, so let's form up another army here. Let's make sure that the, these guys are actually okay. Let's get rid of... Boom, boom. So we need 8 infantry here. Nice. Cool. And please just give me one moment. How is this looking? Ooh, how far? Oh, we're already 70% of the way there. There's no point to really lower our budget yet. My apologies. I thought my cat was outside my door for some reason. <sighs> Very nice. Actually, at this point, we might as well just send our boats over. Because they'll be done within two months. That's not bad. Alright, guys. Get ready for to rumble again. We're probably going to land down in Dukun. Dukum? Dukum. Nice, not bad. Any other guys around here? But yeah, using slavery is a good thing for civilization progress, for reforms. Not civilization progress, but just for reforms later on. It's pretty good. Hey, 7%, not bad. Actually, what, do we have any other decisions here we can take? Abolish the pact, invented state and government. Ooh, more infamy. Commission a warship. Ooh, that's not bad. We need naval waste in every province that is a Tukulor core. Huh. A peace. All right, well, whatever. Abolish the sound dues. Oh, we need the kill canal. Oh, the Saharan frontier, of course. The dark continent, Tukalor. We need to be civilized. Revolution and counter revolution. Okay, so that's all we have. Not that many. Not that much things. We, not that many things we can do. Okay, we weren't discovered. I'm glad we're on a boat. Hopefully, we don't die in the water. I guess someone did recommend we go socialist. Uh, Tukalorites. Let's try to call these people Tukalorites. We'll see what happens. Soldiers from Akan Patriots, huh? I don't think so, man. I don't think so. Oh, do we build up a... Yeah, we did build a Navy port. We are, we are building it, so that's okay. Get to Oman. We'll do really, really well. 7% of our population could read. Not bad, Reno's. Just make sure we don't lose the ships on the way over here. Please. Oh, look at that. Oh, we can do some of this stuff. It would be better to get something that gives us more civilization progress that allows us to get more research conquest points I really want naval schools I really do research points when conquering would be so good civilization progress unit attack and defense because over here I mean yeah that's not bad but it might be just worth saving upper points at this point for like industrial stuff because piston seam engines piston you get textile mills, farming output, you get fabric maybe. Hmm. You know, I'll let you guys decide. What is the next reform or reforms we should do to do well here? Should we do like two smaller ones? Or should we do like one big one such as industrial construction? Because actually that's probably the only one we can do. If we, should we go for that one or do two smaller ones? Let me know in the comments below. Or focus on stuff like this. But money wise, I don't think we're doing okay. Obviously, we have foreign universities, but let me know in the comments below. There we go. 
Oh, which one do we want? Kenya, Zanzibar, Arabian Gulf. Ooh, I want just I just want Oman. Oh crap! That means we can't get this. Oh, British. Oh, they have Aden. Oh, we can come over here. Swahili. Oh, none of these people have our culture. What the heck? Maybe we'll force them to be our culture. All right, so they have Lindy, Zanzibar, which I kind of like. Yeah, this is definitely part of Africa that we do don't have anything to do with. Um. Oh. Ooh. Arabian Gulf though. There's still Bayodin. That's still not bad. I kind of like that one. And that's a tip of the Hormuz Strait, which is really good to conquer. And that would be very good to defend. Hmm. Do I want more of Africa? Or do I want the tip? You know what? I'll let you guys decide. We'll go to war as soon as we start this next episode. But guys, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow. Whether we shall figure out what reforms we're going to make. And which part of Oman we'll take. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.